Hello. I'm Vanessa. A very warm welcome. Charlie has some red and blue marbles in a box. The sum of one quarter of the red marbles and two fifths of the blue marbles in the box is 64. The sum of three quarter of the red marbles and three fifths of the blue marbles in the box is 120. Part A. How many marbles are there in a box altogether? How many blue marbles are there in a box? So although this is a five marks, um, the last, the second, last question, do not be put off by the number of marks or the sequence of this question, thinking that it's a difficult or challenging question. Just answer the, the question according to the sequence, part A first, followed by B. And understand your concept and apply it. Let's take a look at this question. One quarter of the rate. So naturally, for the total number of red marbles, you will split into four parts. Two-fifths of the blue marbles in a box. So blue, you will split into five parts. All right. With that, we use the information to solve our question. So one quarter of uh, the red, so meaning to say is one block of red, plus two-fifths of the blue, which is two blocks of blue, that will give us 64. The next sentence, the sum of three quarter, so three red blocks and three fifth of the blue marbles. So three blue marbles and that will give us 120. That, as you can see, is actually the total number of marbles. One, two, three, four. Four red and five blue. So you could have answered part A easily, getting the two marks, which is 184. So now, how do we find out the number of blue marbles for part B? Leaving out this, first thing first, you must understand the concept, similar to this actually your simultaneous equation. And in that, think of your science experiment, whereby in all experiments, there can be only one unknown, one variable that can be kept different. The rest of the variables unknown must be kept the same. So using this, we can attribute whatever differences in value due to the difference in the particular unknown that is kept different. So for that, it's up to you whether you want to change or uh, make the red to be equal or make the blue to be equal. Whichever way you find it's most convenient, of course, given that limited time in the exam. So here, you actually need to manipulate the data. So what do I mean by that? In this case, looking at three red and three blue, I will want to make um, the red to be the same. That means I want to make one red plus a certain number of blues, depending on this. What do I get from this model here? Because 3, 3, I can actually split into three groups. So each group will have one red and one blue. And then one red, one blue. So I have three groups. One group will give me 120 divided by 3, which is 40. So one red and one blue is actually 40. And from there, the next thing you need to have is the skill of removing all noises and distractions in your analysis. Because now it looks like a lot of model, so you must learn how to visualize to pick up only the important information that you need. So what do I mean by that? So I'm going to remove the unnecessary model just now, keeping this what I want. And now the solution becomes very obvious. By holding the rate the same, you can now attribute whatever difference in the value 64 and 40 to be that to be due to the difference in the number of blue blocks. You can find the answer easily. And with that, we know that the total number of blue marbles are five blocks. So five times twenty-four, and that gives you your answer. You can do a check. 
by substituting the answer back into the question. You, you should get the total for this two as 64 and 120. Just use the calculator with a quick check. Bear in mind the bracket because all this must be operated first before the addition comes in. That's it. I hope you enjoy learning math because it is so important. And you can see how you can actually apply the skill that you have learned in math to real life situations. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and do give me a like if you find it beneficial and do subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up as I strive to help students in answering some of the CA or even essay or even prelim questions. Do stay tuned to it and I hope to see you around. And bye for now. See you.